the heels of the Greyhound in front that was about to take over, but expecting speed from one and possibly from six. All right, all over the way. Green light goes on. There's no more bets. Thank you. We're set to go. Ready? Away, Aussie still dwelt slightly, but has pushed through. He's got the lead. Aston Inkley's trying to get across. Yorana Smacko began very well. Probably the best in its career, and it's only a length and a half from the leader and looking really dangerous now. Mr. Onas is on the inside. Aston Inkley's not running on good enough at this stage. Behind those spring in China. Then we've got uh, Spritney Beers. Phoebe Allen's at the tail end of the field. An exhibition behind that. Yorana Smacko goes to the lead after a very good jump. Trying hard, Mr. Onassis. Yorana Smacko He's trying to hold on a does, I think. I think it held on, Your Honor Smacko, in front of either Spring in China, who's flashed home out late, and Mr. Onassis in the centre, and a three-way go. Aston Hinkley will be fourth, behind those Brittany Beers. Aussie still got tired over the concluding stages. Uh, then we had Exhibition and Phoebe Allen at the tail end of the field. Oh, it's one easily. It's one by ahead. Three beats four, two, and six. Three, four, two, and six, the judges' numbers. I thought it was a bit tighter than that, but it's a head by a head. Visit the Lordman and Pank required for JJ. 31.50 the time. 31.50. Well, this Greyhound is just starting to learn how to jump. Uh, jumped the best in its career last time after being a, a Greyhound that's always slow away or goes up with the lids. And has jumped away pretty good in second placing here today. So it's learning its craft, I suppose. Yorana Smacko. White and Blue Dog, May 2015. Banjo Boy out of Shewan. Raced by Aisha Valier and A. Lipinskis.